Hey there guys, I'm back to another game review. Today we'll be taking a look at the episodic adventure, Life is Strange. Before playing Life is Strange, I knew barely anything going in. My co-host on the Two Players podcast, Damien, recommended this game to me, saying that it's really good. Life is Strange launched on January 30th, 2015, and finished on October 20th, 2015. So exactly why am I reviewing a game that finished nearly two years ago? Because this game is really damn good. Because Life is Strange is a graphic adventure, I am going to keep this plot summary as simple as I can to allow viewers who have yet to play this game get the full experience out of the story. Life is Strange has you play as Max Caulfield, a photography student at Blackwell Academy, who discovers she can rewind time and change the outcome of certain scenarios. With this new attained power, Max decides to use this power to help her best friend, Chloe Price. Other than Chloe, you will be interacting with other characters such as the teacher, Mr. Jefferson, and the school bully, Victoria. Character development within the series is amazing. Your feelings towards every single character will change throughout the series. After all five episodes, I was really happy with how the game turned out. The ending for the game is not that bad for the context of Max's situation during that time. There were so many twists and turns within the story that kept me wondering what is going to happen next. And these twists were not cliches at all, really surprising me at every plot twist throughout. The story is the main reason why people love this game, and I can vouch for that. The story of Life is Strange is truly amazing. The gameplay for Life is Strange is like any other graphic adventure. Similar to Telltale's The Walking Dead or Heavy Rain, you'll be walking around the world exploring different areas of Blackwell Academy and the town you reside in, Arcadia Bay. All of the key features within a graphic adventure are here, like interacting with other characters, picking up and manipulating different objects, solving puzzles, and making decisions for your character. The decision making in Life is Strange is the most different out of any other graphic adventure game because of Max's ability to rewind time. Because of this power, Max is able to see the outcome of one interaction, rewind, redo the interaction, and then see your desired outcome. It's a really nice ability because you get to see most of the outcome of your decisions within one playthrough. Obviously, there are reasons for you to replay this game, such as unlocking the secrets and interacting with the optional characters, but being able to see both sides of a decision makes the final decision that you make that much more valuable. At times, I didn't care about the other side of a decision, but at other times, I was curious and wondering what would happen if I chose the other way around. The game wants you to rewind time and see what happens because Max will always say something to encourage a player to see the other decision. The gameplay is overall more of the same from a graphic adventure game, but the ability to rewind time and change a major decision makes it different within its genre. Presentation-wise, this game could be better within certain aspects. Graphics for this game are fine, the environments and character models look good enough, considering that Don't Nod, the developers for this game, had to work with a restricted budget. My only major complaint for the graphics is the limb syncing of dialogue. At first, it kind of distracted me, but once I became heavily invested into the characters, I would say like episode 3 or something like that, I just didn't care about the limb syncing being off. It really did not distract me at that point. Everyone isn't going to get attached to these characters like I did, so I have to go and mention that the limb syncing is desynced within certain parts of the game. The soundtrack for this game is beautiful and really surprised me. Every single time they put a song on at the end of the episode, it was just amazing. The song always fit with the tone of the episode. So one of my final thoughts on Life is Strange. This is probably one of the best graphic adventure games out there. The way the story is told, how the characters are developed, and the power to rewind time and choose the other decision makes this game one of my favorite games of all time. The game is split into five episodes with each episode being an hour or two each. And my first playthrough took me around 11 hours to complete, which is not bad for being a five episode adventure. If you enjoy graphic adventure games, you should definitely check this game out. And if you're still not sure about, you know, checking this game out to begin with, the first episode is free. So after that first episode, if you're not into it, you're not into it. But if you are into it, you know, pick up the rest of the season. So... 
that is my review of Life is Strange. I cannot wait for Life is Strange Before the Storm, which is the prequel that is about to come out. And yeah, I am really, really excited and I'm really invested into the series now. So um, I do applaud Don't Not Again for making such a great game. And I hope that you guys check it out. So have you guys played Life is Strange? How are you going to check it out now? Be sure to leave that in the comment section below. I will be sure to read it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have not already, you can subscribe. I put new videos up every single Saturday. You want to follow me on social media, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, that's where I put uh, updates to my future videos and other stuff that I like to uh, mention here and there. So if you guys want to find me on there, you can do that. And then, yeah, uh, I do have a Twitch stream. I probably should have streamed this whole game on Twitch, but I decided to uh, just keep it to myself and just record the game on OBS instead of just streaming it. So um, maybe I should have done that. But anyways, uh, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video again. And I'll see you guys next time with more videos. Game on gamers.